here was the result of a poor design. The end point or vertex of the handle's angle stopped along the wood grain. This created an extremely weak point at the base of the handle. Tapping it against the table saw put just enough stress on it to crack it along the wood grain, which caused the handle to completely break off. Luckily, this happened before actually using it with a spinning table saw blade. My attempts to cut corners and rush a project without planning out the design created a waste of time and material. Rather than editing this out of the video, I thought it was useful to show my mistakes so hopefully you can benefit from it as well. For my next attempt, I switched to using half inch plywood. I decided to use plywood because the alternating direction of the plies means the wood grain directions will be alternating, so there will be strength at the bottom of the handle to reduce the possibility of it breaking. I also incorporated a more rounded corner of the handle base, so there will be more material at the vertex of this angle. I also like the design much better. I cut out the new design with my jigsaw. I used a handsaw to finish the cuts that will make the lip of the push stick that will support the material it's pushing. Next, I drew a different push stick design onto the plywood. This one resembles the type of hand sticks that usually come with a new table saw. It will be nice to have a couple of different options to choose from. Once I was happy with the design, I again cut it out with a jigsaw. Next, I rounded over the edges of the push sticks with a roundover bit in my bench top router table. This will make them more comfortable, especially for those projects that require a lot of wood to be cut. After rounding over one side of the push sticks, I flipped them over and rounded over the other side. I also decided to make a smaller version of the hand stick, and rather than recreating the wheel, I used the first version as a template. I first traced the handle of the plywood and then repositioned it back about three inches and traced the rest of the push stick. Again, it'll be nice to have a couple different options to choose from depending on the needs of my future projects. I cut out the design with a jigsaw. it over all of the edges for comfort and to give it a more finished look. Here are the four push sticks I ended up with. Before customizing, I needed to seal the surfaces of the plywood. Normally I use Minwax spar urethane, but I was all out and the store only had polyurethane, so that's what I used. I sprayed on a coat of sealant, allowed time for the spar urethane to dry, and then added a second coat. I don't have a logo or decals at this point, so I'm going to hand draw my customizations. It's a fun and actually therapeutic process for me. I place the carbon paper down between the plywood and printer paper, and then trace out the image with a mechanical pencil. I like to use Sharpies for the ink in my projects, and I have found the ultra fine point Sharpies work really well for tracing outlines. I keep a paper towel, napkin, or spare piece of paper on hand to scribble on, as sometimes the sealant on the wood surface will clog the point of the Sharpies. A second or two of scribbling will clear the sealant and get the ink flowing nicely once again. I also use the paper towel or scrap piece of paper to cover the carbon so my hand doesn't smear it as I'm tracing.
Sometimes I'll switch from the ultra fine point to the fine point Sharpie for filling in bigger areas, which saves me time. And with that, the push sticks were done. I hope you enjoy this project and maybe found some inspiration to make your very own custom push sticks. Whether they are custom or not, purchased or made, I highly encourage you to use push sticks, especially when using a table saw, to keep your hands away from the blade. Accidents happen to even the most experienced woodworkers. And, speaking from experience, some accidents are life-changing. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I would also really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you can be alerted when new videos are uploaded. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, please take care and stay safe. Goodbye.